So, what is video telling all about? Mm -hmm. um, well, it's a combination, it's a marriage between storytelling, maybe traditional storytelling, and new media, especially video. Um, you see, stories have evolved along the years, from centuries and centuries ago when um, stories were passed on and communicated and the prim primary medium of stories was through a storyteller. As we know, the world has changed a lot through, since then through a lot of different um, pieces of inventions, new technologies, new dif different types of mediums or media. Um, for example, the printing press was maybe one of the big ones to knock down the traditional storyteller. Then we had theater and video, cinema, television, and the internet is just one more, um, one more part of this. Um, and if you look at the internet, you could maybe even divide it into three parts. The first part being textual, the second part being image, photographs, and the third part being moving images and multimedia and video. So the way we, the way we consume stories, first thing to look at, the first way to look at this is the way that we consume stories has moved from a storytelling way to stories being communicated and passed from one person to another through different media. So where does that leave the traditional storyteller? Well there's now a revival in a storytelling and there's, a, there's, a, there's been a, this has been going on for quite a long time, there's been a lot of people arguing for the importance of storytelling traditional storytelling techniques, this is I'm talking about, in the classroom. And um, what video telling does is, for me, is what I'm doing with it, is just an extension of what many other people are doing to try to revive traditional storytelling techniques, but to not limit myself to stories necessarily from yesteryear. So the stories that we're looking at through video telling are generally, most often, videos, video stories, stories that are brought to us through video. And this is actually a very natural process. If you imagine the number of times that friends tell each other about video clips they've seen, YouTube clips they've seen, music videos they've seen, um, adverts, trailers, even describing a moment from a football match that somebody saw the night before is a sense of video telling, putting, putting what was primarily moving images into words. So that's t making use of that, um, that natural practice, but kind of t getting something from it for the classroom.